Hi, welcome to another lesson with Dr. Hill. Today we're talking about electricity again and our electronic circuits. And today what we want to do is we want to examine this little differ here. This is a, uh, a little button that you get with uh, electronic kits, uh, simple electronic kits. And what we want to do is see what this button does. Now, how do we investigate what this little button is going to do? Well, uh, what we can use is we can use the circuit that we've already built. We've built a circuit uh, that can test conductivity. It tests whether uh, a current is passing from one side of an object to the other. And so we can use that setup to test the, the different connections you can make across this little, this little device here. You see it's got four legs and a kind of a grabby claw shape. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to see in the, in the image there. I don't know if you can see that, but the, the, the legs have a little claw grab shape like that and using this we can attempt to get this all four of these legs into different parts of our breadboard into different uh, connected rows of our breadboard and we can do that by connecting the little grabby bit across the trough of the breadboard so let's go over and have a look i've changed my breadboard into a slightly smaller one which is a little bit easier to use uh, in the space that i've got under the camera because i wanted to focus in on the circuit. So let's have a quick look here. So here's our breadboard. It's a little a smaller one. I'll just talk you through the circuit again so that we're all nice and clear. Um, here's my positive charge. My, my current's coming in from the battery, uh, from the positive terminal of the battery. It's coming in there. It's coming out uh, into the resistor, which is connected to the long leg of the LED, which is connected to column uh, let me put my glasses on and see what that is. It looks like column seven. It's connected to column seven in the breadboard on this side of the trough, the top column. And uh, that is connected to my loose wire for testing. Uh, the other loose wire for testing is just the wire that runs back to the negative terminal of the battery. So let's just check it. If I connect up these two um, wires, I get my LED to switch on. Okay, now the switch, that's or this button thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little grabby shape of the button. You see, it's a little bit hard to see, but I'm going to take that and I'm going to do the grab across the uh, trough that runs down the middle of the breadboard. See this trough here? So what that means is that uh, all the holes on this row here, row, uh, column 21, are connected to that leg are connected to that leg of the uh, switch, column 21. Column 22 at the top, oh, sorry, column 23 at the top is connected to that leg of the switch, the top right leg. The bottom left leg is connected to column 21 on the bottom of the breadboard, on the other side of the trench, so it's not connected to that one. And uh, the bottom right leg of the switch is connected to column 23. So this allows us to test the various possibilities um, for connecting up the switch, and then we'll see how it works. So I'm just gonna connect up uh, one of my wires. This wire's a wee bit longer, so I'm just gonna connect up one of my wires. Doesn't which, matter which way round we do it because we're just testing whether electricity is gonna flow. So I've connected one of my wires to the top left leg of the switch. Okay, it's in this column here, column 21. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to see what happens if I connect to column 21 below. All right, so let me just put that in. And I light my LED. So what does that mean? It means that these two legs here of the switch, of the button, are connected. Yeah, I haven't, I'm haven't. i not pressing the switch and I can connect, uh, I can connect a current right through the switch along, across those two legs. So those two legs on the left are connected. Let's see what happens if we connect differently. We'll put this up here. So we see that uh, if we put both terminals up here so that they're both connected to the two top legs of the switch, we see no connection. So let's see if we can understand what's going on there. Let's try pressing the switch and see what happens. And we light the LED. So what that means is that the left side of the switch and the right side of the switch, at least at the top, only connect when we press the button. Okay, now let's see if that's true for uh, the bottom right uh, leg. So I connect up that to the bottom right. Again, 
we are seeing uh, no light. But if I press the switch, then I get the LED to light. So this looks like uh, if I connect the left to the right, I have a switch that I can use. Let's try it down here and see if that's true. Um, put that down here and down here. That's left and right again, and we have a switch. Okay. So it's a left leg or a right leg. And if I connect up across that way, and it doesn't matter which leg I connect to. If I'm connected from the left to the right, I can only connect the, the current. I can only complete the circuit by pressing the switch. If I have both on the left, I have a completed current, a uh, completed circuit. And if I have both on the right, I have a completed circuit. Okay, pressing the switch doesn't do anything in these cases. Okay, it doesn't do anything. All right, so let's see if we can represent that in a drawing to make it a little bit clearer. So I've got my, my top left leg, my top right leg, my bottom left leg, and my bottom right leg. Well, what we know is that uh, if I uh, connect up here to this, I get a, if I connect those two, those two legs are fully connected and there's no switch between them. All right. If I connect up here and all the way down here, those two legs are fully connected and there's no switch between them. All right. But if I connect to here and here, I have to press the button to make a connection. If I connect to here and here, I have to press the button to make a connection. If I connect it from here to here, I have to press the button to make a connection. So the simplest way to represent that is to put a switch in here. And this will represent our button. Okay. So no matter which way, if I connect up here, I'm going to have current flowing. If I connect up here, I'm going to have current flowing. But if I connect up here, or here, or here, or here, I have to press the button. So that's going to represent uh, my switch. Uh, and in fact, if I'm just going to use it in a simple circuit, I can just draw this diagonal. And it's going to look like this. Yeah, so essentially I can just use two opposite legs of the switch, of the button, to have a switch in my circuit. And we'll try and build a circuit with a switch in it in our next lesson. So uh, I hope that was interesting. If you've got the switch, if you've got a switch like that, put it into your conductivity testing circuit and give it a try. See how you can connect it up and see how it works. And it turns out that um, uh, the two sides of the switch are fully connected through, but uh, the opposite sides uh, are switched using the button. Okay, so I hope that was useful and we'll use that in our future lesson. We'll also be using the switch because the switch is useful in, uh, in a circuit that we build using a BBC microbit or a, a, any other controller. So the switches have that function. That's why they've got four legs and not just two. All right, so I'll see you in the next lesson um, and um, have a good day.